Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I think this will be a start to a new video on this farmyard. Um, if not, this other thing's going to be a bit odd. So, again, I can't remember where I got to in the last video. It's just been mad here just recently. Um, I'm still waiting to go back to work, which won't, won't make any sense to your timeline. Um, I've probably put together three or four videos in the space of three or four days. But the farmyard is getting somewhere. Um, the wing you see here is the left wing. This is ready for covering. The aileron is ready for covering. You can see it's already been pre-hinged. I've already checked it. It all fits up nicely. I'll be using the bigger, these eighth or three sixteenths robot hinges. 316 I think these are. I'm not sure. They're the bigger ones anyway. Um, so that's all been hinged. It's all been sanded down. Leaning edge has been rounded off. Um, I've gone over it with the 500 grit mesh. Um, these, this stuff. Merca. Auto net. It's a bodywork sanding disc. But the good thing is it doesn't clog up literally as soon one here with a foam block behind it you sand it and you just tap it and it all just falls out it doesn't clog up the sanding paper so that you get a lot of life out of the paper a pack of 50 discs or something like 20 quid which some people might think that's expensive but they're worth their weight in gold for how smooth you can get the surface so that's the wing um the fuselage is currently in the car drying because it's another place to put it and it's warmer than in here had a little bit of a mistake with that uh, got all the planking done started sanding it shaping it and actually found that one bit went so soft i'd obviously obviously just nearly gone through the wood so i had to cut that section out put another piece in and reshape it and i'm now i'm actually using epoxy filler so basically um epoxy resin laminating resin not adhesive but laminating resin with micro balloons mixed into it um so it's gonna be a much more structural filler than just normal lightweight filler um yes it's gonna be harder to sand but it's also going to give it more strength um so that's currently in the car um and right now i'm not quite sure what else to say to you apart from i don't know if you've seen these or not but these are the elevators that ewan has covered so we're going to get an idea of the colour scheme here. Um, there's one colour still missing from these. You can see off the tips. But we're going to put that on when we actually get it lined up with the tailplane. So it's all in the right place. Um, so yeah, that's an idea to the colour scheme that it's going to be. Um, next thing on this wing is going to be starting to cover that. But as you can see, this place is a mess. There's dust everywhere. So I've been doing my best to get as much... Dusty stuff, sawdust, shavings done first before we start covering. Certainly big pieces, because I'm going to need a big bench to do the covering, but I also still need a big bench to do the finishing work. When I say finishing work, I mean finishing the woodwork, sanding, etc. The other wing has still got some filler on it, which is still drying. And I will get that to the same stage as this one before covering. Um, so then we can just give them a quick hoover down, get all the dust off, maybe a tack cloth over them, um, literally just before the covering goes on. And then we're going to be well on our way. Um, as I said before, there is a time constraint on this. And at the moment, we've got enough time, but I'm desperately trying to get as much done as possible. So once the filler has dried on the fuselage, I'll show you that. Right then, um, again, I've lost track of what I've done filming wise and whatnot this might well become the end to a part of a video I'm not quite sure um again this is just bringing you up to speed with where we've got to with the farmyard um it is a bit what's the word I've been a bit lazy with the filming because I've been focused on trying to get this done I've been thinking about the model rather than filming the model um because as I said before we've got a deadline haven't we um the deadline's getting very much closer and closer and closer. But, as I think I've said in a previous bit of video, 
the time frame timeline won't make much sense to you but i'm now going away again to work i wasn't meant to be here just now uh, and i'm going away to work to, day after tomorrow but i'm busy tomorrow so now i'm probably not going to get much more done on the farmyard before going away to work if i get anything done on it between now and monday morning it's saturday night just now um, there's a small possibility I might get a little bit done tomorrow, but I'm busy during the day, so we just have to wait and see. But anyway, where are we? Well, the fuselage is now, I think, let's say 95% complete. I've got two more things to do, basically. I've got to glue in that piece. And I've got to make two pieces like that to support the sides. Just because <coughs> this isn't quite long enough. Uh, what it needs to be but it's not the end of the world it's easy enough to make a couple of those um i might put a supporting piece in here to strengthen that up uh not quite sure yet the other thing i've got to make is a hatch for the underside and then once i've got the woodwork done cut that hatch out of there and that is a fuselage complete basically apart from the what work you need to do at the tail to yeah the okay yep yeah, yeah so there's there's like a thin to tail plane piece that follows the line of the fuselage can't do that until the tail plane's on and i don't really want to put the tail plane on until sort of almost the last minute just so i can get as much done as possible on the fuselage first the tail plane is sitting here ready to go on and so is the rudder and the fin elevators are all hinged we've got the elevators covered just about. yeah just again just about covered we've got the tips that haven't been covered but we're going to do them once we can put the elevators onto the tailplane and cover those tips at the same time so that all the lines line up um that fin is off something else sorry that rudder is off something else that Ewan's working on which i'm hoping we'll be able to get a video done for yep. um which reminds me when we go in and need to sort something out right what else have we got done right over here the wings, as you can see, we started. We I've started covering. The undersides are done again, apart from the tips. Um, the colour that the tips are going to be, I haven't got any of. So that'll be ordered up, and then that can be continued with the tips on both sides. The colour scheme means that uh, ailerons as well that are half covered. Um, the colour scheme that Ewan's going for means we're going to put a panel in here. And then a piece in front of it to overlap due to the wind airflow across the wing and then there'd be another strip across the front so the next big covering job is going to be getting that panel on at the right distance so all the lines line up but again i've run out of time just now um so i've got to get as much done as i can or i've tried to get as much done as i can so there's as little to do when i come back mm -hmm. from work there could potentially only be a week I need to look at the diary right. and do some calculations. There could potentially only be a week when I come home before we go. So that's going to be very tight. That's why I've been trying to get as much done as I can just now. Um, I've also noticed that isn't stuck down properly there. Can you see that? Just there? Yeah. Or is it just the light? yeah okay well that will be stuck down when we come to do it when we come to do the top surface yeah. anyway i could get a scalpel okay well we don't need to just now so yeah that's where we are with the farmyard um i wish it would be further on we're still waiting on well we're now waiting on covering we're waiting on an exhaust for it um which is still being done and we're waiting on more time for me to get it done but uh yeah if uh if i do manage to get any more done on this um between now and going away to work i'll probably insert the clip around about now so yeah we have done a little bit more um i'm not quite sure where i'm putting this into the video but it'll hopefully make sense the fuselage on the farmyard is i'm gonna say 98 percent finished structurally as you and Keaton pointed out, we've still got the fin supports to go on, but we do that when we come to the tailplane. Um, 
front windscreen, if that's what we're calling it. Yeah, let's call it that. These are all glued on. Side pieces are all glued on. It hasn't been sanded back yet, because it only went on an hour ago. And I've put underneath there, I've put like a doubler in, just to give it a bit more support. Um, this big bit of spruce is just to spread the load of the clamps, so it glues here. So yeah, we're getting there. I've got, I keep on saying that, but we're getting there. So the next task on the fuselage, which will be in the next video, or the next video on this series, will probably be cutting the fuselage, uh, cutting the hatch out at the front, sanding all this back, getting the tailplane on, and then doing final sanding of the fuselage, fin, supports, everything else like that, in preparation for covering it. And I need to make a hatch. Yeah, I thought you had made the hatch. No, I haven't made the hatch for underneath. Yeah, I thought the hatch was in here, but no. that's what I thought you'd made the hatch. No, I haven't. So yeah, edit this all back together. And you're liking this sort of stuff, give us a thumbs up. Um, comments below, all greatly appreciated. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And until we uh, do some more on this aeroplane, we'll see you next time. Bye.